Before we get into this, I just want to say thank you to everyone that showed support on Twitter and on YouTube because, you know, all the copyright stuff that's been going on really, really means a lot to know there are a bunch of people that have my backs. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, I will, I'm going to give like an update about the stuff that's been going on involving that before we actually hop into the games. So if you see, if I go over here and I click this, you can see we now have had 82 copyright complaints filed just today. <laughs> It's 82 today. Um, if we were to take a look at like Twitter, um, this is my day two tweet. The day one tweet, we asked them to do something about it. They didn't. I said, can anyone at Team YouTube take a look at the validity of Believe Music and their mass copyright claims, even though I have the correct license to use the audio from its creator? I've gone through the speed process with no luck. My DMs are always open. This is what I woke up to this morning. Look at those claims, right? I have not gotten an answer. We're going over it today. Right? Yo, appreciate the sub, though. F those copyright scumbag. Sorry you have to deal with this. Yo, thank you for the support, friend. I really do appreciate it. Yo, Anchorage Appleton's also coming in hot. Ask them to review. They sent me a super generic. After you submit a cop a content ID dispute, the claim has 30 days to respond. If your suits are rejected, you can appeal. So this is, this is like a automated response, right? And so I was waiting for that automated response. So I, I could clap back. This is... I literally just changed, like, the words from... Like, I said, all. It says you. It says, I, I changed it from, like, but if, like, I get rejected, like, I changed it basically so I would reference me. Because this is an exact copy-paste of what their actual website says. But if I get rejected, right, my dispute gets rejected, uh, the claimant has the option to submit a copyright request to remove my video from YouTube, and that means I get a copyright strike, right? And then if you get a copyright strike, basically you're super boned because it leads to you being banned after three, which I disputed enough to get in trouble. So the automated response again, that's one option a copyright owner can take. And so I'm probably going to reply sometime today saying like, how is that a fair option when they get to pick all those things? Good morning, good old capitalism. Yeah, I, I know, right? It's terrible. I, I don't know what like. They're the ones that attacked me, and I have to dispute with them? What? Well, how is me disputing with them a correct way for this to get resolved? Because they're just going to be like, no, we were right the first time, and you're striked, and then you're banned. I, I just don't, I don't understand it. Um, I messaged the content, I messaged the creator of the music, I messaged um, the companies that guy works for, uh, I messaged a bunch of other people, I talked to a couple lawyers last night. It's just crazy how this is actually even happening in the real world, you know? You know, I, like I said, I woke up to this, you know? Look at all, the, look at that. That's just, that's just between, like, I just woke up to that. Like, pfft. just absolutely nuts. And it's all automated. Like, I have no doubt that if a real person at YouTube were to take a look at this, this would be fixed immediately. But no, you just get hit with, like, these automated bot responses. And I, I just can't believe that that's, that's our life, you know? <laughs> It's ridiculous. It's like my livelihood, just being a toy, a game. So for this for this team today, this team was sent to me on Twitter. I got a DM from Paulo Marcelo saying, Hey, Philip, first of all, thanks for inspiring me every day to get better on online battles. Your channel helped me a lot to build my first team in Sword and Shield. I built a team which was effective to Get me on the ladder of the official competition today, and I'm 7-1 right now, hoping to get more wins tonight. I caught my opponents by surprising using Mewtwo, Trick Room. I love Mewtwo, and I hate it being slept on most of the time. As my G-Max partnered with Kinglore Ally Switch, he talks about using Brick Break, um, and he brings like Kyger Reggie Drago in the back. And uh, he calls this team Element of Surprise, and they say, I hope I can feature it on my channel, and, uh, you know, Thank you and stuff like that. And I was like, happy here I could help. And he said, thank you so much. And he sent me a poke paste here. And we're going to take a look at the poke paste. And then we're going to use this. Yeah, you can today. see he has like pretty good EVs on a lot of his mons. Like the, Kai, what is this? This uh, King was pretty bulky. Has just enough speed to work if you actually do hit a G Max like foam bubble thingy. Um, the Mewtwo is bulky with Trick Room. Makes sense. Um, has two HP in the EVs for some reason. We take those. <laughs> Wish BDSP had rental cubs, you I agree. The Zorok's a bit of a weird thing here. Zorok's such an enigma on this team because if Zorok comes out and there is a Kyogre or Entity on the board, Zorok can't copy those because they have abilities to activate when they go off. So 
it's it's kind of weird seeing Zorak on this team, but if they want to use it, that's completely fine. Um, Eevee spread's okay. You're, that's wrong with 2v2 set there. You shouldn't be timid, though, because you want to use U-turn at full power. Reggie Drago, a little bit bulky. Um, it's not wasting any stats, as far as I can tell, though, so that's good. Um, and the NDD, let me just uh, scroll down here. Yeah, the NDD, 2v2, 2v2 is fine. I've noticed a ton of NDDs that get submitted to me on Patreon are using Healing Wish. They should just be using Protect. Your best move on a Follow Me mod is Protect because you can weave that in in between the Follow Me's and basically just elongate its presence in the world, which is super nice. And last but not least, it's a Timid Ogre on a Trick Room team. It seems so weird. It just seems so weird, but we're going to do exactly like what they said. We are going to lead Mewtwo and Kingler and click Ally Switch in Trick Room. That's what we're going to do. We're going to try their combo. It says right there. Sorry. Yeah, we're going to try and catch him off guard using the exact combo that was submitted to us on this team right here. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I also will say that, like, on Patreon, I made a post today. If you guys are a part of the Patreon, you go check it out. It says, like, basically, you guys get to pick the Pokemon I build my International Challenge team around because I haven't got a chance to build it yet since all this copyright stuff's been crazy. But um, I even briefly went over the, you know, the copyright stuff in question. And then... You know, basically, I also ran out of room. I hit the maximum amount of poll options on Patreon. It was ridiculous. Um, day one of being on Patreon is already worth it. Yo, Delibird set you sent me is cool. Happy to hear you like it. Um, anyways, people are voting on stuff they want to see. Looks like a lot of people like the GMAX Butterfree Watch Choice. GMAX Gengar Toxicity, also kind of popular. Uh, Hatterene, the Apple Appleton. So there's 41 votes so far, and... Uh, you know, I figured like Kingler, I figured Kingler would be a little more popular because um, Kingler's awesome. But uh, we're gonna use Kingler today. You lose your count? skate channel? Yeah, I'd lose the skate channel, I'd use the pet battle channel, I'd lose the TC channel, I'd lose all my channels. Yo, the first game we're trying to use Reggie Drago, and we have to go up against the GOAT, Torkoal, and Xerneas, and Zacian? Can we not and say we did? We have to do exactly like what the creator of the team said. Remember, the creator of the team said. That I have to go and use Kingler and Mewtwo and go Ally Switch Trick Room. That's what they said. So I have to do it. Right? Ally Switch Trick Room and I'm going to bring Kyogre. These are all bad in this matchup, I would say. Like, you can't bring the Drago, so I guess you have to bring Indidi. And, like, it's not a good mon. Bro, I don't even know why people use Healing Wish. Like, Protect is so much better. You'll see. Let's go. Wish me luck, chat. If you lost all this, would you start a new channel? You can't start a new channel on YouTube if you get banned. So I I can't, I don't even have the option. If I get my, if my account on YouTube gets banned, I don't have the option of starting over. You're just banned. You're banned. You're wasted. Miku, how's it going? Yeah, singles, pranks, or taunt will was set. Yep, that's exactly like how you use Sableye. It's exactly how you use it. This is probably this person's IC team when they're just testing it. I love, if that wasn't Torkoal, I think I'd have this game over if that wasn't Torkoal because like basically they're just gonna set trick room and I'm gonna be like or I'm gonna set trick room and then I'm gonna be sad <laughs> you'll see what happens though they're not ready to battle the world's strongest Pokemon you're right we have Kyogre you thought I was gonna say Mewtwo huh Jayla Field how's it going you'll see what happens man there's no way this works right no way no way like they could just lead like Venu Zashi and I lose right you beating the IC tonight, good luck. Ooh, that's that's really, really low power. Okay. Pop off, bro. I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it. I think I'm gonna max. Do I need to ally switch is the question. Because, like, you're hitting the Kingler. I don't want you to hit my Mewtwo. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I'd much rather you just didn't hit my Mewtwo. Right? Oh, damn it, I'm doing it. Ally switch. Trick room. This is what they said that we have to do. I didn't make the rules. This is how they said they played the team. Torkoal switch in? If you switch in Torkoal, I can switch in Kyogre and just pop off on your Binu. Did find out how one shot to turn this. I believe it. Alright. Bro, don't kill my Mewtwo. <laughs> I know you're maxing and going into the Kingler slot. Like, we all know this. I think it's actually, it'd be really, really crazy if they went into the Mewtwo slot, right? Because they're just going to ignore that Kingler, bro. Bro, don't do me like that. 
let's see if let's see if the person that sent this team is just some magical mystery person and is on to like the biggest plays. So Ally Switch Kingler, Trick Room Mewtwo, plays, plays, hit that Kingler slot, bro. Nope. Never lucky. That's a plus one. Never, ever, ever lucky. That's a plus one. It's alright. We Gucci. We Golden. Oof. Alright. Ow. Bro, our Mewtwo's gonna fucking die. And now we don't... Oh, damn it. <laughs> we have to do this. I do not want to do this. And we have to switch in the Kyogre. Ugh. Ugh. Just to make Mewtwo not die, but then he's gonna take Vine Lash damage and Life Orb. It's like, oh my god. And then we don't underspeed that Torque Law. This is just the worst thing ever. It's okay. <sighs> I can't believe they. I can't believe. I could have just literally clicked the freaking Trick Room button. It's okay. First game stage fright, the OG has to stretch its muscles. I mean, it didn't die. Straight up, it didn't die. And I'm about to pop this Venu in the mouth, yo. Don't act like I won't just pop this Venu in the mouth. What's Torkoal going to do? It's raining. Alright, Mewtwo, don't die. Okay, remember Dynamax Candy's good, good. Let's go, Mewtwo! Max Guard, bro, come on. Don't do Max Guard, that's cheating. That's weak, you're weak. You need more hatred, Torkoal! So the Vine Lash is gonna be bad. Um, we'll just go for the Spout. We'll catch whatever comes in on the Spout. Bro, that Venusaur probably like underspeeds my Mewtwo now. <laughs> like, this is the worst case scenario is Venusaur in our game one. Oh well. It's possible Mewtwo still under speeds here, um, believe it or not. We'll see what they want to do. I said it's possible, because Mewtwo doesn't have any points. Yawn. Okay. Favorite starter from Gen 9. I haven't really looked at him. Realistically, I haven't looked at him. That's okay. So you're going to... I mean, we just send out Kingler here. Oh, crit! Never lucky. Kingler time. Yo, J Wayfield gifted five subs, yo! Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Oh my goodness. The sub club going all the way up. Five big ones. Appreciate it, friend. YouTube about to be big dead in like two turns. 13 HP. Quite low. We have so we're like out of Pokemon, guys. Ugh, it's so hard! Kingler carry us. This this dynamic where Torkoal discourages TR and Venom encourages is so strong. I, I like Torkoal over Groudon. There's the Indity, okay. Hmm. Mewtwo's just gonna die here. It's so like Mewtwo's gonna take out from Orb, so it actually doesn't matter what we use. They're probably just gonna click follow me, right? Just going to that. Just trying to support. Well, I appreciate the support. Five subs is no trivial amount. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You need yawn my okay body press. That's completely fine. Torkoal. Torkoal, you're weak, bro. I'm Kingler. Grab hammer. Right, we're gonna kill this thing. Me too will tick out, and then I'll bring out my NDD. And then I'll go for a helping hand boosted, rain boosted crab hammer. Right into your mind. Come on, Kingler. Country roads, take me home. I got faith, Kingler. I got faith in Kingler. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. That means a high roll body press can just kill me. Oh my god. They're probably gonna go for protect plays. Alright. Is it Zern or Zacian? I mean, do we think a helping hand rain boosted crap hammer takes it out? What do you guys think? It might. It just might. Again, I appreciate the subs, my friend. Absolutely amazing. There's no more Vine Lash turns, right? Okay. 
As long as I don't die to this Vine Lash, how many turns are on our Chuck Room? One or two. So that Zashian's gonna protect, right? So that means, like, there's two things we can do. We can go... Turns on Rain or what? Last turn of Psych. Two turns on Rain. Oh, this is so hard. If the Zashian protects, we lose, guys. If the Zashian protects, we lose. Crap. It didn't protect. We had to hit the Kingor, guys. We had, Sorry, the Torkoal. We had to. Why didn't you protect, bro? Oh my god, they just high-rolled me. They, they crit me! Kingor, you got crit by Kingor? Oh, come on. That's some BS. That's some BS. Never lucky, bro. Never, ever lucky. Oof. Oof. I mean... Kingler Mewtwo, though. What do you do? I don't- I can't trick room this! This is not- like... Uh, Alright, hold the phone. Hold the French phones. I have one of these, alright? <laughs> I have one of these right here. Bro, what do you do against this? Do you do anything here? What do they even do against that? Helping hand, pop it like it's hot. Bring in the Y guard? Oh man. Bro, we're not even gonna bring Kyogre. <laughs> Kyogre's for weaklings. All right. Let's go. I'm gonna one-shot something. For IC, do numbers of battles a lot per day carry over? They do, yeah. You can play all 45 year games on the last day if you wanted to in the IC. All right. Yeah, the Porygon might not die. Yeah, they do. They carry over. Don't say no. They carry over. They definitely do be carrying over. Uh, let me check a couple things. Why not play day one? Because all the super sweaty tryhard people are playing day one. And if you let them get points, right? First of all, you want to play people where they have more points than you. Which means if you win, you win more points. And if you lose you lose less points because they have more. So instead of playing people who are 1,500, 1,500 who are really, really good, what you can do is you can play on the second day, play people who are probably a little bit worse that have more points and take more points for beating them. It's a really, really cool way to do it. All right. I'm a one-shot something. Oh yeah, I wanted to check this uh, Reggie Drago EV spread. Please just be full special attack. I don't even care how fast you are. I really, I, I half care. It's full special attack, timid, which means we might outspeed this Volk. I've never run all 45, I definitely have. I played five matches the IC today, but one teams were just casuals getting all, getting the shiny. Yeah, the thing is, you can try and like get the ca casuals to get the shinies, but like, bro, this is gonna do so much. Am I wrong? Like, this is gonna freaking melt this guy. It's gonna melt him. That Vault can outspeed us if it's full speed and go for like a struggle bug, but then we're still hitting like really, really hard. And then we can just go for like a bring in of Kingler and wide guard the wide guard him out. That's an idea. Yeah, we'll see. The power of Drago. Drago! Let's go. Yeet. Yo! This is a lot. This is a lot. Bro, what the hell? No way. Hold on. I'm like actually the most surprised person that's ever had to play Pokemon in my life that that didn't just melt them. Dragon energy boosted by a stab of whatever the dragon's maw ability is. A helping hand. A dragon fang. Huh? It didn't even kill the Volk? Like, are you, are you fucking really? <laughs> How do you feel about Mental Herb, Quash, Sable? I don't think any Mental Herb. Second day at 10 is usually a good time, yeah. Let me think about this. That's why I don't really like Healing Wish here. Doesn't really give me anything. Don't really need to follow me. What do they have? In the, they can bring in an Ogre? I don't want them. I do want them to bring out Ogre, do it, don't I? I'll just go expanding them. I just let it die. What the hell? That was, does it not have its Eevees? Did you leave your Eevees at home? Full investment, too. It's crazy.
They're not even rage powdering this turn. I'm gonna check this Reggie Drago EVs actually. That's a good question. Great on paper, bad in game. No, Reggie Drago's awesome. I I think it should be doing more. I really oh, I really needed to die there. That's ass. I needed to die there really bad. Alright, so we took out the Valk. It's not that it really matters. They're just bringing up Kyogre here. But like, what the fuck do we do now? You know? Glacier Lance will literally melt my life away. And I can't switch in Kyogre here. Oh, this is so bad. Hold on, I really think that like they didn't do their their Mon right. I guess I'm used to being modest. But like the fact that they didn't even do like that much to like look at this guy. Let's let's check him out. Uh, not swap. Where are your Eevees, bro? He has full special attack? It makes no sense. Fodder Mewtwo? Bro, that's so bad. That was a helping hand boost to move, too. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Let it die. Fodder my Mewtwo. Bring out Kingler. And then try and get something done. It's about, yep. At least they don't get any Cali boosts. That's the right thing here. Thank goodness for no Cali boosts. It's timid, not modest. You're right, it is timid. I'm used to modest, but like, how did a helping hand, Dragon Fang, Dragon Ma, stab? Like, how did that not do any damage? I just, I don't get it. Like, and the thing is, like, that's not a vested Cali Ice, either, you know? It's just nuts, man. We didn't even kill the Volk. That's another thing. It's like, Volk didn't even die. It's just absolutely nutty. It's like, are you okay, Dragon Energy? They're always slower than Kali. It's probably uh, Iron Ball, yeah. Choice Specs instead? I mean, Dragon Fang's still a really, really good multiplier. Had to leave back, but this is ranked as IC. This is just IC. Oh, sorry, this is just ranked. Sorry, it's just ranked. Eh, yeah. All right, cool. Freaking Raid Boss down. Chunking of that Ogre. And now we're going to max next turn, probably. Yo, big Kingler energy in the house, right? Big Kingler energy in the house. That spout is weak now. All right, let's think about what we need to get done. You have one mon left. Is he going to change the game? Hit. That's also not good. I don't like that. That's probably vested. Bro. Yo, let's go! Would you spout here? Or would you? You would not spout. Let's do it. Let's do it! I'm gonna win! I gotta do this, man! The degeneracy of Kingler! Because they're gonna like, they're either gonna go for an electric attack on my. Um, Kingler or an ice attack into my Drago, right? So we're gonna outplay them. We will outplay Max Cartana. Alright. It's a lot of damage. It is. I don't like that. And hopefully we can kill their ogre this turn if they go into the Drago slot. Like we can KO their Kyogre and then we can max our Kingler and finish off that cart. That's the plan. That's the idea. Show me that ice beam, buddy. Let's go! Don't you freeze my boy. Don't do it! Thank you, Kingler. No, oh, he's alive! That low rolled! Ah! Defense boost hurts. Go, Kingler. Kingler freaking ate those for breakfast! Kingler eating his Wheaties over here. Okay. Dimensions of return back to normal. That cart is so fast now, but now I outspeed. Now I outspeed the Kyogre. So like, if I go like this, 
if I were to ancient power the cart like a max rock fall, it would make it so the Kyogre um, would tick out. Oh, fuck, man. It's such a hard situation to be in. I think you have to protect. And as weird as this sounds, I think you have to, like, G-Max Bone Burst the cart. It's probably better to G-Max Bone Burst the Kyogre. And then we'll have two mons that outspeed. Oh, this is such a weird situation to be in. Come on, Kingler! Kingler Road, take me home. To the place I belong. Kill the Kyogre. Speed drop the cart so we outspeed with Drago. That's our only out. Steel Spy. Yo! We eating these? Oh, to the Kingler! Yo, Kingler! Let's go, Kingler! Let's do this, buddy! Do it for me! I have no clue if this even lets us outspeed that cart, by the way. I'm assuming it does, but... Let's go! Let's go! Bro, they didn't even, like... Attack the Drago. They thought it was going to ally switch. Nerf Kingler. Kingler busted! So we're at minus two speed. Last turn of rain. See, the thing is here, like... I don't even know if I outspeed them with this Kingler right now. I really don't. I kind of kind of need to do this. They have plus two defense. Drago outspeed. I think this will make King outspeed as well. Let's go, Drago. Single target. Oh my gosh. We take those critical hit dragon energy. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Finally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Feels Kingler, man. Let's go. <laughs> I could disguise Zork as Reggie Drago and just pop the Zashi in. <laughs> That'd be funny. Definitely bring the Kyogre. Uh, Entity is such a weird sell here for me. Weezing, okay? Weezing's really good. You um, use it to turn off the sun and Palkia just pops the Groudon. Let's see. Like, I think that Drago's a good mon here. It's just that... It really depends on if they give us their Zacian. If they literally take their Zacian and donate it to me, donations accepted, we can win. <sighs> yeah, let's see. Hmm. What do you guys think they're gonna leave with? Is that Zacian? Is that a Cherish Ball on the Weezing? I don't remember Weezing ever having a Cherish Ball. Okay, there's two ways we could play this. Um, I'm not afraid of that Weezing at all. So I'm actually just gonna guard it up. And I'm gonna stop the- I'm gonna stop the, uh... I'm going to stop the Electro Web. Protect. Bro, yeah, like I said, don't have to go after that thing. Show me the web! Web of lies! Yo, we got a raiding party. Appreciate it, friend. Electroweb. Ain't ever even heard of it. King or busted. Big raid. Yo, thank you for the support. We do be taking those. Sai striking it up. Bruh. Yeet. Ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing on my boy out here. Got him. Yo, appreciate the raid. How's your stream? That was sick, by the way. That was Chef's Kiss. Sai Strike Mewtwo Pog Champ, right? Show me that Zashian. Show me Zashian. Do it, do it now. Stream was good. Happy to hear it. Zashian, there's the boy. How the game's going? Ah, uh, we're having a good time. Yeah, we're having a good time. So you guys know what we do here, right? Y'all know what we do. Y'all know what we're about. We go protect Mewtwo and foam burst him in the face and just outspeed. Or we can be degenerates. It's so hard not to click E-Webs. Oh, this team baits it super hard, too. Oh, we are so degenerate right now. 
We even like trick him if it felt like it. Mewtwo busted. That's right, yo. The degeneracy intensifies. Let's go, degeneracy. You know, a harder move to not click is ally switch. <laughs> See, because, like, what are you going to do? You know, you're going to behemoth blade by Kingler slot? I don't know about that one, Chief. You might. Big degenerate energy, Kingler. Be in the saving grace out here. Behemoth blade, bruh. You, I know you're hitting that Mewtwo slot, which is now a Kingler. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Dialga's the best restricted, in my opinion. I, I think it is. I think it's always best restricted. Show him why you're the strongest Pokemon in the world. Yo, we be taking these. Where are you looking, buddy? Where are you? You can't see me. And the Weezing gets to do something here. But it's probably going for like a Willow Wisp into the Kingler slot. Which is why we did the Ally Switch play. Because even if we killed the Zashi and we didn't want to get burned. Yeah, see? It's more optimal than maxing the Kingler. So satisfying seeing Mewtwo on Chazashian. And we have the Sun Up, which is kind of nice for that Palkia because they have to go for, like, dragon attacks. There's the boy. We just get out this Palkia over the next, like, two turns. Mind your manner, Storm. I don't even, like... Realistically, we don't know the Weezing's items. It's probably Sash, right? <laughs> I'll just do it again. <laughs> Why not, right? Why not? Just allies switch till the cows come home. Palkia, Zashi, and Weezing destroyed. Wasted on Route 1. Let's see. How much damage are we actually going to do with this? 30? It depends on if they're vested, right? Or if they're orbed. We're going to do a lot. We outspeed them. I think. Actually, I don't know if we outspeed them with this Mewtwo. We'll see. Yo, another ally switch. Another one. Oh man. King Degeneracy intensifies. Max Strike. Alright, so they outsped us anyways. It doesn't matter. Ooh, they went to that slot. Okay. It's fine. Max Strike Palkia. So they're vested. That's like the only time you would see a vest there. Ooh, the Weezing also didn't protect. So we could have just killed it. They're orbed. So they're, that's just an awkward set then. Taunt. Oh, they're done playing games. <laughs> They're done with these ally switch shenanigans. That's a really good way to do it. Because either you would have killed the Kingor there or taunted it. So, good play there. Great damage from us, though. How would you recommend someone get started with VGC? I'm so overwhelmed looking at info online. I don't even know. I would say just maybe place them with some rentals. Or just uh, see how other people do it. And like find some Pokemon you like. And see how other people use it. And try your best to replicate that energy. That's how I would do it, personally. Alright, so we're stuck here. It's sunny. It's always sunny. We're actually just going to click this because I think that Weezing is sashed. Um, let's see. Should I max guard here? I think max guard's the play because then you just bring in the Indity, right? Did I bring Indity? I didn't even bring it. Well, no. But if we max guard here, we won't die to anything that they're going to do. Yeah, I'll go for the max guard actually and just let them take out the Kingler. Just play casuals with rental teams. That's a good way to do it, too. Wormwind? Uh-uh. I want you to kill the Kingler. I don't know if you can. It doesn't matter to me. You know, Sludge Bomb's fine. Yo, how's it going? Yo, Kingler busted. Yo, Brick broken. I just wanted to break Sash. Alright, so behind all this, I have, like, a Drago plus Kyogre in the back, which isn't, like, amazing. But it is what it is. There's no reason to switch in any of those mons. We'll just let the Kingler die and get two mons that both pin on your last max turn. Let's get a defense drop, right? Oh, crits land easier. Okay. Let's pop off. Yeah, Patreon's a good value, I would say. Like, there's a ton of rental codes, tons of pay spins, stuff like that. Ooh, Psystrike, Strike, are you hitting Kingler? Okay, you're hitting Mewtwo. I'm probably dead. That's fine. That's fine with me. Yeah. You can't drop speed anymore. So, like, I'm just going to bring out Kyogre, click Spout, and... Do we click Spout and Dragon Energy? Or just, like, Spout Protect? I think Spout Protect's, like, not even bad, realistically. I think Spout Protect's not bad. 
Palkia could still bring this back. We don't know if it has Thunder. We've seen Strike, Quake, Wind. Probably doesn't have Thunder. Which means it probably can't hit the Kyogre very well. Which means that my first play was the right one. They'd have to, like, Hyper Beam it. And I don't care about that. There's no rain. And it's... Oh, shit! There's no rain! It's wheezing! All right. See if protects the right play. Last turn rain? Last turn sun? All right. That's fine. Happy Friday! Happy Friday! You say attack with both? I don't think attack with both is the right play. I think attack with both starting next turn is fine. I, I don't think that's the right play. Spatial rend? Yeah, because he has to spatial rend that slot, right? And he already outspeeds it, so like we shouldn't just give it to him. You see? And now the sunlight fades. We can probably start spouting right now, right? Because Palkia will take... No, we just... We, do, we ice beam there. We still get it off the board. And we Dragon Engineer, because now Palkia wants to go Protect, which I don't think it has, because it's shown Spatial Rend. It could still have it, but, like, at this point, now we can punish the Weezing here. So it's a win-win. That could also miss. You didn't Kyogre? There you go. Yeah, it's fine. Take it up. I think Kyogre won't be ones you're Weezing. Maybe. Actually, I don't know if it wants to be one. If you Poison me, that's really bad. Uh, we should have went for Spout here. That's my fault. Uh, it's my fault. I should have went for Spout. Spout would have KO'd. It's Mystic Water Spout. That's such a mistake for me. I should have spouted. Crap. Yeah, if this poisons, this is really bad. Because they'll just be able to use Protect and wait us out. Oh, thank God. All right. That was a, that was almost a throw from us. All right. We should be able to win. They'll Protect, but it's not like it gets them anything. It's a two-shot for me. If they got that poison, that would have been really bad. So I almost threw that one. Doesn't Weezing kind of want you boost your Zacian? It does, yeah. If you if you get an Intrepid Sword boost, you switch in the Zacian. Sorry, switch in the Weezing. And then you switch it back out, you get a second one. So this should probably Oko. Synchroni Synchronize Entity, the IC. Yo, that's that sucks. <laughs> Yo, you could have put Fake Out on it. Yeah, so it's this isn't a KO, but like we're going to be fine. Even if they get like a Crit Sludge Bomb, we're okay. Crit Poison Sludge Bomb? Crit? Poison? Yeah, even if I got the Poison... We still win. We got him, boys. We did it. Battle was canceled. Wins up. Degeneracy prevails. Oh my goodness. I guess those two are okay. If they lead incorrectly, we're in a good spot. This is not a good situation. This is a really, really bad matchup for me. It's the Clefairy. Yeah, the Clefairy is a problem here. Kingor doesn't provide, like, immediate speed control. That's the problem. It has to, like, soak damage from any... Like, Charizard can KO Kingler with, like, an Airstream. Groudon can technically fight Kingler. Venusaur can fight it. Max Knuckle Kingler? Yo, well, now. Yeah, you should... No, you can't use a rental. Um, But you can play all your games on, like, the later days of the IC. You can play on Saturday and Sunday, and you should be playing on Saturday and Sunday. Very Dialga, bro. All right, do I just do it? I'm gonna do it. I did it. All right, let's see. How much damage is this actually going to do to Dialga? They have the freaking Clefairy, too, like the friend guard. So this ain't going to do shit. Actually, I can waste their max turns. Because, like, you can't break my entity in one hit. So, like, I'm just going to go... We're just going to... Oh, it's pressure, too. Good stuff. Yeah, um... Yeah, just energy up. Bro, I should just Ancient Power... <laughs> This is going to do like 20%, but it's there to waste, waste max turns. So we're just trying to waste max turns here. And you can't hit the Clefairy, but Mewtwo can pop it. Mewtwo can pop that Clefairy in the mouth. So let's hit they're following me. Yep, awesome. Dragon Energy. Let's see how much damage you do. They have friend guard, but they didn't max. They're trickering here. Bro, that's a lot. That's so good for us. I thought they were just going to max, right? At this point, like, realistically, like, they probably have life due on the Clefairy. Like, that's such a good set here. Um, We just go follow me and just keep chilling. It sucks we're going to get PP out of dragon energy, but, like, 
I never even thought I'd get a Dialga that low in my life. So we take those. All the way to the bank, yo. Just open up a spot for Kyra to come in in a couple turns. And you two to come in. I think they still had to follow me there too, because they didn't know if it was Reggie Drago or if it was Zorark. Right? So they needed to follow me to not get taunted. Super drop in the big sub 36 months, yo! Subs up. Subs up. Yeah, it's gonna be damage we do. I wonder if they're gonna make the right play and go with like the max guard. Like, dude, that's such a good play here. Vanguard seems to have negated a bit of the single target. It's not even single target. It's still tech fairy's technically still soaking the damage. So it's still technically doing doubles damage. Moonblast. Go nuts. Yeah, that ain't it. Wormwind again, not it. It's it, it probably won't KO. Yeah. It was so safe here. They're not orbed either. Big deeps. That's a lot. Alright, the next one will KO if I can get a chance to make connections with it. We can go protect. Protect. Like a max guard. And then the turn after that, Indity can use... No, Indity should be able to soak all this. Yeah, we're good. Just Dragon Energy again. Clefairy can't KO Indity with this. Damn. Reggie Drago, a big busted right now. Yeah, max guard. They're going to go for the double um, Moonblast, but they're going to be wasting all their max turns doing this, which means Kyra can just come in. And if, if you waste the Dialga's max turns, you're basically making it useless. It's been a while since the last cost stream. You're doing all right. Yeah. Can you quash and psychic train with Prankster? Not on mons that are grounded. All right. I'm going to... I think you just protect here. Just soak a little bit of damage. I think you just double protect. Oh, shit. This thing doesn't have fucking protect, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Why you gotta not have protect? Oof, that fucking hurts. I hope the copyright situation sorts itself out. Good luck with that. Appreciate it. I do appreciate that. Yeah, you gotta have protect on your entity, man. Uh, protect would have been so good there. That's why we couldn't do the double protect play next last turn either. So Drago has to protect. It won't die. It's gonna take like half, which means we're gonna be locked into like basically using something else. But Moonblast hopefully doesn't get a spadef. Sorry, a special drop. Oh! God, that's so much damage, man. <laughs> Bro, I did not need to eat that. You crit me through. You, Max move should not be able to crit through protect. You shouldn't be able to crit those through protect. You realistically should not be able to crit those moves through protect. I do not make the rules. This won't even KO now because you crit me. So we have to do this. And then we'll be able to go for a fade away healing wish. <laughs> fade away healing wish into our Drago. Maximus shouldn't crit period, I agree. Alright, that's fine. No healing wish. Not today. They're gonna go if they go for Aurora Time, we just bring out Kyogre, right? That's the idea there. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's absolutely fine. Like we don't care. Yep, uh, it's totally fine. We just bring out Kyogre now. Um and we are going to max into the Clefairy. We played an SLC. Good luck in the ICO. Thank you for stopping by. How's the ICO going for you? I kind of want to max this Drago, though. <laughs> What's the copyright situation? There's a company that's trying to cancel my YouTube channel. So we're just going to max and go right into the uh, Clefairy and just protect. Because this is the last turn Turkum 2, right? Moves over. Oh, so Dialga's just dead. This should kill Dialga. It's fine. We don't actually have to do that. I'm going to double one of the Clefairy because I want my boost, boys. It's 
actually just a force to follow me. It doesn't really matter. I'd rather do something, you know? Are they, gonna sw they can't switch out Dialga either. They can only switch out Groudon if they had to switch. Awesome. Oh, the ancient power! Coming in from downtown! The ancient power from downtown! Let's go! <laughs> Give me my boost. Give me the boost! Come on! You owe me, game! Boo! That would've been sick! <laughs> that would've been so awesome! Like, I thought he was so safe. Charizard's an issue, but we can, uh, we have Ancient Power, right? And then Groudon, right? So I'm gonna go protect Drago, change the weather, and then we're good, we're Gucci. Right? That's all, that's all I got, right? So I have to do it like that. So protect Drago. We actually go into the Zard. I hope I don't get solar beamed. We need to change the weather so Drago can actually be a bully. And not die to, like, a heat wave. Drago should outspeed the Groudon set. And we only have, like, two Dragon Energies left. That was canceled. They know. They know what I'm about. Oh, yeah, buddy. We're coming in hot, man. This team's so cool, even though it's so hard to use. King of Mewtwo sounds like the sauce here. I wish this entity had Protect, man. <laughs> so you go King of Mewtwo, Ally Switch into the big whatever the hell you feel like doing and then you just win really feels good winning with Mewtwo and so bad for your opponent I feel it you haven't lost a game I lost the first game I lost the first game with it uh, we fought Torkoal Venusaur remember have you seen anyone use prankster meowstick skill swap Kyber team uh, I've seen it I just don't think it's that great that that stuff was more common Back when, like, uh, 2016 with, like, primals. What's good? Not much. Just playing some games. Playing some games. Retroleki Zashian. Yo. Nice. Nice little Retroleki Zashian thing. So, let's see. How do we want to deal with this? Because that Leki is going to click the Electro Web. And then we lose. Do we just Trick Room you? I think we have to do See, the issue with Trick Room here is... The mons I have in the back are fast. <laughs> How fast is the question? All right, what do you have in the back, realistically? You have Zard, probably. You have Groudon, for sure. And then, is it Venu? It's probably Venu, just because we have a, uh, like, that eh, might not be with you two. The question is, does Mewtwo, does, uh, If we get one shot by Electro Web, we lose. Guys, if we get one shot by Electro Web, we lose. If we get one shot by Electro on our Kingler, we lose. They're maxing. I think we're okay. I think they're going after the Kingler. I think they're going big electric attack into Kingler and Behemoth Blade into the Mewtwo slot, which means if we ally switch. We're golden. <laughs> like, we're not dead. Let's see it. They can also just double into the Mewtwo slot really hard. And then still get the win. And they can just ignore Kingler? No way. No way. We'll see. That'd be such a big galaxy brain play. The funny thing is that people try their very best not to lose the Mewtwo. Yo, I believe it. All right, who are you hitting? All right, they're doing what I thought. All right, this won't do as much as they want, and I'm also going to take away its terrain boost. All right, terrain boost going to be taken away. Actually, I'm not taking away. I'm using a different move. Behemoth Blade and Mewtwo slot. Awesome. So we actually took out a Zashian at the cost of our life. You know, that's nice. It's always, always a pleasure to take out Zashian at the cost of our life. And they didn't take orb damage. So it's like they're probably still Sash on that Alecti. But Zashian's down, man.
If that Alecki hits us, we we die. So the question is like, we're gonna have to create a situation, right? Where they could only hit one of us, right? They have to like, all right. No, I think another play. The right play is this. This is actually a really good play. If you break the Lucky Sash, great. If if they read you and, and hit the Kingler slot, that's also fine. Because we're going to... Are you going to block it? All right, cool. Walking Barry. <laughs> you show them Kingler, right? So I could have just stayed in and popped their Lucky. Um, but the reason you want to protect there so they don't just kill... They don't just kill your uh, Mewtwo. And then you send out Indy and you use... Follow me. Also send out the ogre. Who would you hit if you're this person? Would you go after the ogre? Huh? Create double the threats with double my gum. Would a single target P blades take up? I think they could miss the P blades. I got faith in you missing P blades, bro. Bro, I got faith in you missing P blades. I think you might actually switch out the Groudon and attack the Kyogre here. That's what I do. And because I'm the best player in the world, I know how to abuse it. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my steroid boost. Alright, I'm switching. And you're switching. Right? Show me that show me that switch Groudon. Show me the switch Groudon! Take out Kyogre! Show it to me! Cause you know that's what I wanna see. Can you play in both TCG and VGC events? Not anymore. You used to be able to. Crap, they stayed in. Yes, they hit the entity though. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's still spread damage on Mewtwo, which means we probably don't die. We don't know if we take out the uh in the We don't know if it's Sash on the Lecky. That's the issue. We don't know. I'm assuming it is. It's not. Right? We got shots. And now you can't switch your crowd on anymore. Don't kill my Mewtwo, though. How's everything's going flawless? Let's go. Bro, just don't kill my Mewtwo. Keyblades miss. Miss on entity? All right, that's fine with me. Yo. Yes. You show me Zard. What you got? You got Zard back there? I think I can be sh Whimsicott. Yo, sounds like a job. Well, follow me. Actually, let me think about that. It fucking this this damn entity doesn't have protect, man. You know how hard that makes this, bro. If they hit a P blades, we lose. I don't have trick on either of these guys, man. <laughs> man. Why they gotta make things so hard? There ain't no reason to switch his Kyogre in either. Oh, this is so bad. You have to miss everything. You're gonna go Tailwind P Blades, but I want you to miss it. Tailwind? P Blades miss? Sorry, it's my only out. Rock slide, good play. I mean, it's it is what it is. Yeah, entity stays live. That's cool, but like, I will still probably lose the game. I'm assuming that Wims has a grass attack as well. So we'll go follow me, Spout. Best shot that I got. That Wimps is going to be sashed. We have to hope it doesn't have a grass attack. Even though we know that it does. It has to. Right? It has to. Moonblast might not do it. You know? Sunny Day! Yo, pop off, Chief. They had the tech. Sunny Day is good tech. Let's see how much damage we even do. They can miss every P-Blades the world's ever seen. Realistically? Realistically? You can. You can miss that move all day.
Good damage still. Crit the whims. Awesome. <sighs> Do you think they have an encore? Sunny day, tailwind. We have to actually just like, I'd like to protect, but we have to respect encore. Moonblast. Oh my gosh, they don't have the good move. If you miss his P-Blades, bro! Miss the P-Blades, bro! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> okay, now we can protect. Imagine jumping on there. Yeah, that would have been nice, right? Imagine if I broke the Wimscott Sash this turn early, I could have just Ice Beamed it the first time. How many people have you got in the tank? How many more misses you got back there, Chief? It's stronger to use Ice Beam here. I think Ice Beam takes it. Tailwind Peters out! Let's go! Let's go, Kyogre! Fuck. <laughs> Don't kill me, bro! Oh, he missed again! Yo! We did it! <laughs> you missed every one of them! Just like I said, you can miss every one of those all the way to the bank, yo! I, I said it! I would play to the outs! You missed every P Blades! Uh, is this Entity Min Speed? It better be. It's not. So it needs to be min speed usually, otherwise you cannot get underspent by the Rilla. That, so I've used the I've used the surf fetch. I've just never like built one myself. I've used the rental code. Still bring the ogre. I think you still bring Kingler, but like you don't bring the Mewtwo. You know I gotta be bringing my boy. That Mewtwo is so bad here. Right? You had to bring Kingler. It's the only way you would wall the Kyogre late game. Alright, it's our only shot. Let's try it. I believe that Believe Music are a bunch of wankers. Yo, I would agree. I would I would agree wholeheartedly with that analysis. All right, let's go. Yeah, I got I got two Patreon coaching sessions today. Um, I got a couple coaching sessions tomorrow. We still have to build my team for the IC. It's the busy, busy week, man. Thank you guys for the support through these dark times. Do you guys think, is there any way in hell that we win this? Like, do you think there's any way in hell that we win this at all? There's no way we could win. I just, I just don't see it. They have every tool. Look how ahead they are. I mean, we're turning up the talent flame, so like, that's good. They have every tool. Mewtwo's only job is to do with Zacian? Yeah, isn't that what it's for? <laughs> it's bait. That's the thing. That's yeah, so we turn off Gale Wings. I don't think Sogaleo just pops us that hard. And if we're gonna, we're gonna get like a double KO here, and then we're gonna bring out like the Kooky Kingler, bro. I get Ancient Power that Talent Flame right now. <laughs> no, we just Dragon Energy. I wish this entity had Protect because like you could wait out their max turns correctly. And if you wait out the max turns on things like Solglows and Dialgas, that's like your only way to win versus those things. It's fine. We'll kill the Town Plan this turn and then we'll see if they bring in the Torkoal. Because they have to max. They shouldn't be able to policy proc themselves. <laughs> right? Was Town Plan just going to... He's going to use Ember. <laughs> Bro, if that happens, this guy's too good. If he embers his Solgaleo, the world's not ready. I mean, I'm using Follow Me, so he'd be embering my entity. But, like, Talonflo doesn't have any, like, AoE proc moves. Team Flame Charge? Bro, that's nutty. Tailwind. That's fine. Ember would have been more style points. Max Quake. That's the right play. Get the Spidaf boosts. Because the only way I beat you is with... Uh, so that means we're probably maxing King Boy this game. See, this is the turn where you'd go double protect. Do you see that? Do you see how, like, value that would be? How the grind going? It's going all right. We're basically undefeated with a joke team. Like, a team I used as a joke. It's probably better that that didn't get the KO realistically. They're going to go for the steel attack into that thing. But I would just protect. If I had if I had protect any, I would have used it. 
We don't necessarily need the one shot. We need to stick damage into Solgaleo too, guys. There's the flame charge. Bro! Bro, we actually did it! No! Ah! <laughs> he did it! No! <laughs> the fuck, man? He did the he did the thing! What if I clicked follow me? And he's max clicked again. That's such a good play. Yeah, I think we lose. Oh, that's bad. Ah, uh, we'll waste all the max turns. That's fine. No respect for follow me, that's right. You didn't believe me, I didn't. I would have rather seen the Ember. Alright, so he's about 60%, but he has two Quake boosts. Kingo's still value here. Who do you go after next turn if you're him? You send out, like, Torkoal? Kyogre. There's still a Tailwind up, so this is really bad. I bet I can one-shot that, uh, Kyogre. Awkward play. I think they're going into my Reggie Drago. And then this is their last max turn. So this is going to block a Spout. And like an attack into the Drago for the most part. And then next turn we max the Drago and start out of max turns and we're in a better spot. And we go for the ally switch. Good play. And so let's see if they double into that slot. Because like I didn't want to max my Drago and get doubled into. Right? That That's what I definitely didn't want. They, they, they hit the King Gore? That's fine. We just bring out Entity here. This, that's good for me. That's that's good. I mean, it's the best that we're going to get. We need to wait out their Tailwind, too. Wait out the max turns, wait out the Tailwind. Without blowing our own max, that was, a, that was a good set of turns for me, I think. Problem is, like, they had a Spadef boost on that thing right now. They're, they have plus three. They have plus three. You have to go with Kyogre. Um, Spadef. Ugh, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. The last turn tail one, right? Last turn tail one. See how much damage we can get done. Bro. Okay. Psychic banks? Wild charge. Bro, okay. Free damage on Kyogre. We do be taking these. Now your Tailwind's gone. That's... I mean, our Kyogre can potentially outspeed your, uh... Solgaleo in credit. I think you have to do it just like this. If you Wild Charge, you're gonna take so much freaking damage, and then I'm okay. Because I think that... I think that both my mons might actually outspeed you. I know my Kyogre does, right? Let's go! Crit their Kyogre through their Max Quake boost. Oh my gosh. Do we outspeed your Soul Glow is the question. Yes, we do! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, Drago! Yes! <laughs> Yo! We haven't even maxed yet! What is this? He popped off so hard! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's nutty. Oh, that's a freaking pain to deal with. But not for me! We have Entity in the bag, buddy! Oh my god, we won- I can't believe we won! I can't believe it! I- I can- I literally have- I have no- We have no reason to win these games, man! <laughs> It's all Kingler, man. This hurts me greatly. Why? Yo, we'd be taking those, man. All the way to the bank. This was a team that was given to me on Twitter. This person just DM'd me. They said I was an inspiration. 
that they liked watching my content and that they used this team to go 7-1 and one in the IC on the first day. And uh, they said, all you have to do to win is just go Kingler Mewtwo. And it looks like that's true. <laughs> this team, it, it, there's a few things that it needs. Obviously, the Zorark, it does need Protect if you're going to use that Pokemon. That's Zorark's best move is Protect because it elongates the presence that is on the board. The Kyogre, I'm not a big fan of the full speed Kyogre, but if, if it works, sometimes it works. The NDD definitely needs Protect. That's the biggest thing this team needs is Protect on the NDD. Love the Drago, love the Kingler. I'm, I guess Brick Break's fine in case you fight a lot of Grims. We didn't fight a lot of Grims, so that's okay. Um, Mewtwo works fine too. Overall, this team is very hard to play. Very, very, very hard to play. But if they slack on you for like one or two turns, holy moly, you just pop off and yeah, you mess them up, right? It's it's a easy peasy lemon squeezy. The speed tiers for this team are like all over the place. Like Mewtwo is a fast mon that has no investment, so it's slow for Trick Room. But then you look at the rest of your team, you're like. Your Drago, your Zorark, and your Kyogre are all full speed. So even if you get a Trick Room, you're still slower. You're so you're still faster than like the other Pokemon that you Trick Room. So like they underspeed you still, and you just lose. But when I don't know, maybe it just takes people out of their element. I I yeah, maybe Mewtwo just busted. Maybe Kingler busted. Either way, I I really do think that Reggie Drago is like a really really good Pokemon, and you know this team basically Reggie Drago just put it on its back and carried it across the finish line in a really weird fashion we also got incredibly lucky in like every single game that we played so we do be taking